Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at a setup we had in gold futures today. Today was non-farm payroll day, and we don't typically trade the announcement. You, know, you get a lot of whippy action usually. Although today's reaction was fairly muted, and I think it's because the numbers uh, came in pretty much as expected. So, um, But you can see we did, this was the bar. 30 minute bar during non-farm payroll announcement. You can see we did get some whippy action, shot down, shot up, ended up closing up here. And then the next bar opened right here, pushed higher, and then left this big topping tail and the entire body of the bar was also all selling. So this is a really bearish shooting star and a really bearish 30 minute bar again, topping tail and the entire body was all selling as well so again opened right here the buyers came in sellers came in pushed price all the way back down and then took complete control of the bar the body was all selling the next bar opened right here little push higher and then triggered down made a nice push lower left a pretty big bottoming tail but the body was all selling followed by another pretty bearish bar, opened right here, pushed down, left another bottoming tail. And this is showing a reluctance for gold to really sell off. And you can see, even though we had a couple really nice pushes to the downside, we kept leaving these bottoming tails, showing a reluctance for gold to sell off. And you can see it ended up not really. I mean, after that, we just have kind of consolidated sideways in gold for the rest of the morning. But we did get a nice trigger off of the bearish shooting star, which gave us some nice shorting opportunities. This is our Renko chart. And this is the chart we were trading off of. And right here is where we had that really bearish shooting star. Left the topping tail and the whole body of the bar was all selling. So now we have a really bearish 30 minute bar. We broken the cloud and you know we like these trades we break the cloud we pull back into the cloud get the momentum reset because you can see on the initial push down see how momentum went down into the oversold territory the same way with our vsi see how our vsi went down into the oversold territory and then we get a reset we pull back to the 50 here we pull back near the zero line here so we get a momentum reset we have room for momentum to accelerate our trade into the direction we want to go we have a very bearish 30 minute chart now with a bearish 30 minute bar we trigger the wick out of the cloud we make our first push down, which was down into our initial target, which was actually the VWAP. The VWAP at that time was 1785.40, and that was our initial target. Our wick out of the cloud, that triggered us in around 1789. And this push down uh, took us down into the VWAP. We were actually able to catch both of our uh, targets off the large bar chart. We looked for $200 targets, and we were actually able to catch both $200 targets on that one. We made the pullback, set up a wick off the 18, and triggered again. Our next target was down here at 1781.30. Once again, we were able to get our two $200 targets off on this push to the downside. Then we made the pullback, made a wick off the 50. Made our final push down in. Our target was 1778.30. We were getting extended at that point. You can see that the VSI, we had gotten extended painting dots three times in a row, really four times in a row. So we were getting extended to the downside. We were forming some bullish divergence on that final push down. So a good place to uh, get out, take some profits. But again, another nice push to the downside, able to get... Um, a minimum of two $200 targets off on that. That triggered us in at 1784.60. And again, our uh, target was down here, 1778.30. So you should have been able to get anywhere between four and $500 per contract, just depending on how you were trading it. Now you want to definitely make sure you're locking in profits. We're forming some bullish divergence. We were getting extended to the downside. So definitely a good place to consider taking profits anyways at that final target down there. But all in all, 
couple nice setups uh, off of a bearish 30-minute shooting star and gold futures.